So let's talk about 5G stocks. Right now, everybody is interested in 5G stocks in the, in the technology. Not many people are really understanding what this is all about, but it seems that there's a huge opportunity. And it seems that there are some stocks that are poised for ginormous gains. At least this is what uh, a whole industry leads us to believe. So today we want to pull back the curtain and look a little bit into these 5G stocks and what this, what this is all about. So let's get started. Now, if, you, if you're like me, you probably receive a ton of emails every day in your inbox. One of the emails that I received recently was an email from Jeff Clark Research about Trump's bold 5G move. So as you can see, it is from an editor. It's actually from Jeff Brown. So Jeff Brown and his team at Bonner and Partners have identified uh, a huge opportunity in 5G. So this is what the email tells us and that there is an emergency briefing that we should watch. As you can see, there is a lot of compelling arguments of why 5G might be the next big thing. Here, for example, the editor claims, and I cannot verify or deny it, the editor claims on March 23rd, Trump signed the Secure 5G and Beyond Act, a new law designed to speed up the rollout. Hey, who knows, right? I mean, 5G is a new technology, so there might be an opportunity. So I was curious and I actually clicked on please follow this link to add your name to the guest list right now. So we click the link and uh, we go up to a sign up page where Jeff Brown will give us a state of the 5G summit. I actually entered my email address and uh, wanted to know what this is all about. Right after I entered my email address, I'm being taken to this page. So there is a nicely dressed gentleman who is explaining a few things. And as you can see, you cannot fast forward the video. You don't know how long this video is. So I'm stopped here at seven seconds. Unmute the system audio and listen to him for just a few the seconds. stage for what you're about to see here this evening. We are coming to you from our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., the epicenter of the 5G boom. You know, for the past few years, 5G has been... Okay, so we have no clue how long this is. Usually, uh, based on my experience, uh, these presentations are around an hour or something like this. An hour, sometimes an hour and a half with very, very compelling arguments for 5G. So, and what happens there at the end, uh, this is when uh, this gentleman is inviting you to sign up for a special newsletter in which uh, he reveals the top 5G stocks to trade right now. And when you click on this special offer, it brings you to a page like this. That's where you see Jeff's limited one-time offer for today's attendees. That's us. So you can get a full year of the Exponential Tech Investor for the best price we offered, only $2,000. Plus you get a bunch of special reports, details on Jeff's top speaks and much more. You see, if you're signing up, uh, you sign up for a subscription, which is pretty much an annual subscription. You get a bunch of reports. Look at this bonus reports. There's a 90 day ironclad guarantee. And here we go. The one year subscription of this newsletter is $2,000. Now again, I don't know anything about this, uh, this gentleman, uh, Jeff Brown from Bonner and Partners. I believe Bonner and Partners is connected with Agora Financial. Agora Financial is a company that makes a little bit over a billion dollars a year. As far as I know, we could Google that. But uh, again, based on my knowledge, a billion dollars a year selling newsletter subscription like this. So how do you sell a newsletter worth two thousand dollars? Well, by invoking curiosity. So we want to make sure that we are curious about what stocks are this. And this is why I'm receiving the questions, rightfully so, because you might be wondering, what is it? Do I really have to spend $2,000 on a newsletter like this to find out these 5G stocks? Now, here's the really, really interesting thing. So this is an email that I received uh, probably on April 6th. Um, so today it's April 14th, a few days ago. Today, my head coach, Mark Hodge, forwarded me another email. So the email today actually talks about 5G, but in a different way. Did 5G tech cause the coronavirus pandemic? Now, this is a little bit edgy, but hey, it makes people to open the email. And this is what all this game is about. So you're opening the email, you go to Palm Beach Daily and there's uh, Chaka's note. 
you see that uh, Jeff Brown here again says, last week I hosted the State of 5G Summit. And as we go down there, if you missed the interview, you can click here. Sure enough. Good evening. I'm Chris Hurt. It Welcome is. Welcome to... So, as you can see, these are different angles to sell the same newsletter over and over again. Now, how does this, uh, this whole industry work? So I want to actually show you a little bit more behind the scenes here, uh, just so that you know of what's happening and why right now everybody is so interested in 5G. So I'm going to share my desktop again, and now I want to go to a website that is called Google Trends. So Google Trends is a website that shows you the search volume uh, of a particular search term over time. And look at this. When I enter the term 5G, here's what happens. You see that nobody was interested in it until recently, until we receive a lot of emails around it. Now, this gentleman, Jeff, is only one of the newsletter editors. There's probably a whole bunch of other newsletters out there uh, th that are selling something similar. By, by the way, let me ask you before we continue here, is this helpful thus far? Because if it is, do me a favor and, and click on like, because this way I know that you find this video helpful and I'll do more videos like this so that you know what's going on behind the scenes. And hey, if this is your first time here and you're enjoying this content, click on subscribe and hit the little notification bell because this way you get notified whenever I go live or release a new video. Anyhow, let me know if this is helpful. Give me a quick thumbs up and then uh, we can continue right away. So this is where right now there's a lot of interest and a lot of demand. Now think about it. What was the top search term? What do you think last year? What were all these newsletter writers selling? Pot stocks, right? And so we can actually see if there is some interest in pot stocks that were peaking at some point. Look at this. What do you know? Uh, apparently in 2015, 16 and 17, nobody cared about this. Then it became the flavor of the year. And you see how then interest spiked because all these newsletter editors were talking about the pot stocks, the cannabis industry, right? And you see that right now, nobody's really interested in it anymore. Why? Because we have found a new flavor of the year and the new flavor of the year is now 5G. If right now 5G is the hot one and last year pot stocks, marijuana stocks, cannabis stocks. I mean, this is where we can look for uh, cannabis stocks will be the same. Probably I haven't checked it, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at this. We get the spike very similar to here and then interest fizzles out. Who remembers what was before we had the pot stocks? What was what was the the hot thing that everybody was selling through newsletters, right? Think about it. Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the flavor of the year. Oh, look at this. In late 2017 and 2018, everybody got interested in Bitcoin and then interest fizzled out. What was uh, the, the search term before that? Do you remember? Probably biotech, right? And before this, what was it? 3D printing. Do you get the idea? There's always a hot topic that everybody's jumping on to sell you an annual or monthly newsletter subscription. Now, again, I haven't subscribed to any of these newsletters. They might be awesome, but always keep this in mind. When you see an email like this about 5G, did 5G cause the pandemic? I mean, come on, it sounds a little bit far-fetched, right? Then what else do we have? Uh, whether it is cannabis stocks, whatever you see, especially some conspiracy theory going on, it's usually to buy you into, uh, into the idea to buy a newsletter. Now, some of these newsletters are expensive. They're $79 for a year, but they quickly upsell you into a $2,000 subscription. Anyhow, I thought I wanted to, to share this with you so that you know when you receive an email about 5G, is it really about the technology or is this just a marketing gimmick trying to sell you uh, an inexpensive or expensive newsletter subscription? Based on my experience, more often than not, it is just a marketing gimmick. And the interest, as you have seen, as I've just shown to you, usually fizzles out over time as quickly as it was generated because all these newsletter uh, editors, they will find a new flavor of the year. I can't wait to see what the new flavor of the year is. Do you have an idea what it could be later this year? Maybe it has something to do with vaccines. I mean, who knows? Leave a, leave a comment and let me know what you think the new flavor of the year is. And also let me know what you think 
about uh, these emails that you receive about the the hot new technology and the the brand new opportunity that we have going on. Anyhow, hope this helps. And if you found this helpful, make sure that you like this video. Feel free to share it. And uh, there might be a few videos popping up here right now. If you want to watch any of the other videos that are on the screen right now, just click on any of them and I'll see you there.